Hi. In this experiment, we are tasked to connect a switch to the network and to verify the configuration of the switch. In here, we can see that the devices are already connected to the network. The next step will be to verify the configuration. To do that, we use a console cable connect it from the customer PC to the switch and using the PC's terminal we can access the customer switch and to verify its configuration we use this command show running config Here is the, and here we see the running configuration here is the secret password the enable password of the console here we can see the VLAN's IP address which is 192.168.1.5 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 which is required in the experiment instructions another we can see is the console password which is cisco123 uh, the telnet password which is the same And another thing is to ver and, and and another step is to verify the IP connectivity between the switch and the router. And to do that, we can ping the switch through its IP address, which is one nine two one six eight one one. And here we can see that it it is indeed connected because of the success rate. So to go back here, here is the difference between secret and password. If we see the running, if we can see the running configuration of the of the switch or router, the password is already visible to us, which is here. While the secret is encrypted. This is useful as the password is safe compared to the password as the secret is much safer compared to passwords and what if we want to remove the password for the console what do we what command do we use for this we can use configure terminal line console zero no enable password check again with show running config here we can see that there is no more password and here you can see So in, in this experiment, we can see the clear difference between using a password and using a secret. Uh, passwords are not encrypted immediately, while secrets are much safer because it already encrypts the password that we use as a secret.